Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is Ask Bamford. We gave you guys at home the chance to ask this man here absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media accounts. Patrick, some of the questions we've had sent in, top class this week, right. absolutely top class. Ready to go straight in? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, the first one. If you could pick any strike partner in world football, who would it be and why? Any strike partner? Dennis Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp. Okay, why? Just thinking a bit of link up there? Uh, yeah, I think he's an intelligent player and I think that would work off each other nicely. Yeah. If you were to pick somebody maybe that you played with in the past, who do you think has been like your best connection in terms of strike partnership? Yellow Vossen. Yellow Vossen? Why? Yeah. I don't know, it was just one of them at Middlesbrough. We got on really well off the pitch um, and then kind of like just struck up a relationship on the pitch and understood each other and it just worked well and enjoyed it. So. Is that half the battle is a sort of strike partnership getting on well off the pitch as well as it is on the pitch? Sometimes, but sometimes it works that like you might not really be friends. You are friends, but not like yeah. to the point where you're like chilling with each other and stuff off the pitch, but then you just kind of have that understanding on the pitch. So it works both ways, but I think that it's definitely easier when you're like good mates with someone off the pitch. Nice, okay. The next one, congratulations firstly on, on the England squad. Thanks. What was your England initiation? I didn't have to do one. What? Yeah, I mean. How have you got out of that? <laughs> we were on the plane on the way to Hungary and yeah. Carl Walker said, we've got a singer tonight. I was like, no way, I've got to sing. <laughs> and um, he said, yeah. And then I was like to Cal, you said you didn't sing. He was like, yeah, walk, sort me out. I was like, oh, I heard you're the guy to talk to, sort it out. <laughs> and um, Cal, Trips was trying to get Cal to do um, a speech for getting England Player of the Year. Yeah. And I was like to Cal, Cal, if they make you, if you don't get away with not doing that, I'm not singing. So we'll both help each other out. And <laughs> yeah, just never ended up doing it. You've got away one there, big yeah. time, big time. What was it like going into that England set? Because it seems like such a tight knit group. Um, obviously, I was nervous mm. um, going in because it was the first time. I think it helped. One that I knew Calvin, because obviously being at the same club, um, but also I knew a lot of them from the 21s yeah. and playing against them and stuff, so that made it a lot easier. And then the group itself was so tight-knit, like all the lads were really welcoming and just made you feel like you are part of it straight away. So within like the first day arriving there, being a bit nervous, going into the first training session, a bit nervous after that, kind of felt settled and they made it really easy. So got away without an England initiation. Did you have to do one when you come to Leeds? Yeah. What were we talking? Sing. I can't remember what I sang. It was like, might have been my girl. <laughs> really? I can't even remember. It was ages ago. Yeah. yeah. All right, fair enough. Let's move on from <laughs> initiations to a bit of an off the field question here. What is the best TV show you've ever seen? There's a lot that I think are good. I think Money Heist has got to be up there. Yeah. Yeah. You started the new season? Yeah, I finished it already. Any guilty pleasure shows or any team shows that everybody's watching? Is everybody watching Made in Chelsea or something like that? Uh, no, Love Island, there's a few of the yeah, lads that like, watch all that. Um, I think Love Island's a good shout. Is there any players that you think would, would fit into a Love Island group? You think they could slot straight into that show? No, but <laughs> ironically, I was lying in bed one night when it was on. Yeah. And it must have been about 11 o'clock and I got a phone call. Off. It said withheld and I never normally answer it, but I answered it. And it was like, I can't remember what he said his name was, Chris or something. Hi, it's Chris from ITV. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? <laughs> and I, I thought, what the hell, what's going on here? And um, he said, we're just ringing you about the dating show that's going on at the minute. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you know the one Love Island? I was like, right. He's like, well, you know our cast from just finished. We could really do with a bombshell to go into the villa and we think you'd be perfect. And I was like, right. So I kept playing along with it. And um, he, he was like, uh, would you be up for going in? I was like, I don't think my girlfriend would be too happy. <laughs> And then he said, would she like to go in? <laughs> and so I was like playing along with it for a little bit. And then he just started getting a little bit silly and so I just ignored it. But it was so random, I don't know who it was. That is unreal. That yeah. is a, that's a great exclusive, by the way, Patrick Bamford, nearly <laughs> on Love Island this year. <laughs> All right, let's move back to the football now. What was the toughest pre-season drill this year? Drill? We do t two things every pre-season. Okay. Like we have set runs, which are tough, but we do a 12 minute run, which ran the track out there. And it's not just like a normal running track, it's a thousand meter track, but it's like uphill sharp turns and stuff. It's a little bit awkward. So we have to run as far as we can around that in 12 minutes, which is horrible. And then we have to do one lap of that. So a thousand and 10 meters as fast as we can. 
I've heard a lot about murder ball as well from a lot of the other players. Is that something you incorporate into pre-season training? And for people who haven't seen, what, what is murder ball? Um, yeah, it's in pre-season. I think that we had like a little schedule that was the same each week. So it'd be running, drills, running different days, but then there'd be probably three murder ball sessions throughout the week in pre-season. During the season, it's just one. Okay. And it's just, it is trying to kind of simulate a match thing, but condensing it. So all the high speed running and everything that you do over 90 minutes, yeah. you're doing that distance and the sprinting and everything within 25 minutes. People so, being sick. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, really hard. So it's nuts, but it's just to try and get you ready to be able to do it. So if you can do that in 25 minutes, then doing it over 90 should, shouldn't be a problem. All right, the next question. You can only pick one instrument to play for the rest of your life. What would it be? Now we know, I think you play piano, sax, violin and guitar, right? Yeah, I played. I uh, haven't played saxophone and violin for years. Okay. So I wouldn't put any money on me being able to pick up the saxophone and be any good <laughs> at it. I reckon I'd still be able to do the violin if you, if I had a little bit of time to practice. I'd be quite good at that. But um, guitar, I'd probably take acoustic guitar. Yeah. Do you take the acoustic guitar with you to any sort of like training sessions or when you go on holiday or? Just no, because I know that then that they'd make me sing. Yeah, it's good and to see. I you. don't really want to do that. So. <laughs> I just saved that for at home. Have you ever had to play the instruments or like piano or guitar for like teammates or anything? I played the, oh, actually I think there's one on my Instagram where I played, I took my guitar into the reception at Middlesbrough and I was sat behind and playing, I think it was Justin Bieber. And oh, Brit, nice. Brit or some longer was singing along. Oh my so God, I think there's a video, out. I think there's a video on my Instagram about that. All the clothes you got in my name. But I played the piano for the boys at Borough before as well. How would it go down? Yeah, right. Yeah? They were quite surprised. Be, I reckon you're good, Patrick, so you can get oh, away right. with it. Yeah, imagine somebody turned up and it was shocking and <laughs> yeah. getting dug out. Uh, and actually, on the thoughts of the violin, you mentioned it there, there is a question here, and it was heavily asked by loads of people. It's thoughts on the Irish guy's tattoo of you playing the violin. Now, I don't know if you've seen it, so I've got a photo of this tattoo on my phone here. So the Irish guy is a YouTuber. He's a big football YouTuber, and he lost a bet. Firstly, the foot is gross. I yeah, his foot's rotten. Foot is rotten, and also, I think it's not even a good look-alike. I think it's a poor no, tattoo. That's off, I think that's off one of the Square Ball magazines. Do I've, you? Seen, I've seen the actual like picture where someone's drawn it before yeah. he's had that tattoo. I didn't know he'd had. To it's get a sh that. That's a shocker, isn't it? It is, but uh, that's his own fault. He deserves it. Yeah, he Doesn't deserves it. it. He deserves it. Uh, okay, the next one then. Have you been working on your jujitsu? Now I think this comes off the back of saying that James Tarkovsky was giving you a bit of jujitsu on the floor. What, what's going on there? <laughs> no, I haven't worked on that. Um, Nah, to be fair, it's like, I get I got on with Taki, but yeah. what he did on the pitch was out of order. What was he doing? Was he doing arm bars? What no, talking? so we had like a little tussle, which yeah, is yeah. normal, and then obviously he went down to the ground, but he landed on me, and he's obviously a bit bigger than me, so it was quite like a body slam, so I'm on the floor <laughs> underneath him, and I'm trying to get up, but my leg was stuck between his, All right, okay. and this is where what annoyed me, that he tried to like do some twists with his legs whilst my leg was stuck in the middle. Oh, okay, so little UFC manoeuvre. It could have hurt my knee. And so that's why I was angry with him. And so it's oh. laughed off a little bit, but yeah, I've noted it down. Last couple of questions then. Will you try reapplying for Harvard once you finish your playing career? Because obviously we know you got off that soccer scholarship, mm. everybody's been talking about it. Any ever thought of going back over there? No? no Ditched I think, it? Yes, it sound, I've said it a few times, but it sounds silly yeah. that it was a backup. Yeah, yeah. But uni for me was always in case football didn't work out. Yeah. So I think that there was a point where I my mum and dad said, are you going to try and do like some education outside whilst you're doing football? Mm. And for a bit to kind of appease them, I said, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it. But I, I felt like when you, if you're going to do a degree, you have to be fully yeah, immersed yeah. in it and interested. I didn't really have the hunger, so. What would you have studied if you'd gone out there, by the way? Because I, I think, know that in college you do lots of different little things, don't you, in the, in the US? Yeah, so I think the first year when you go out there is kind of like a general generalised okay. thing. And then you specialise. Um, well, I don't know what I'd have done. I'd done something to do with languages and maybe business. Not that I'm Smart. much of a businessman, but I'd like to learn. 
Yeah, well, fair enough. Okay then, this is, uh, this is submitted by Jack, mate, who has a very popular YouTube uh, channel and podcast, of course, Happy Hour. He says, what's your go-to meal deal? Which I think is a question that he asks very consistently meal on his deal. podcast what as well. Like? If you go, or maybe you don't, but if you go to Sainsbury's, you know, you can get a bottle of water or a, oh, a, right. a, a drink and a crisp and a, and a sandwich. No, I used to do this a lot in sixth form, to be fair, so. Love it. You used to get the chicken, bacon, lettuce. Okay. Mayo, but I'd, yeah. it couldn't have tomatoes and can't, I hate tomatoes. Okay. So I'd take them out and salt and vinegar crisps. Simple. And one of those orange oasis. The orange oasis? Yeah. Not going for the red ones then? No, 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 orange. When was the last time you had a meal deal? Was it like sick form? You're not allowed no meal deals anymore? I, I could, but like, I just don't. Why would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would so you? It must have been when I was about seven, 16, 17. I don't think that's too bad a choice. I've, I've heard a lot worse choice, like plain ham sandwich or something. Uh -huh. It could be. At least if you're going to have ham, ham with a bit of mustard. Or something, yeah, I respect it. Uh, all right then, final question of the day. What's your FPL looking like this year? So we've had like, we're not allowed to put our own players yeah. in it so we can't put i can't put myself in oh no yeah no i can't put any Gutted. Leeds players in so um no stuart dallas this year big point no, scorer no last year no stewie no rafinha i <sighs> would have put myself in as well but not allowed so it's, uh, it's i've played my wild card already have you is yeah. that to get ronaldo in no that was after the first week i played it to get lukaku in okay respect um but it's all right now i think i've got rom and ronaldo up front yeah i've got salah Greenwood, Mount. That's a serious team. Yeah, you must, my other, my other you must have a few fours good. in little positions that you're just like, they're never coming on for me. Yeah, a couple bench. In fact, my team's actually quite strong. I've got like Shaw, Duffy, and... It's a strong team though. The players you've named, though, you must be right up there. I'm all right. Of... I'm like around the top in all the Do you always have in. a league that you're like up there in or is it... Just... Yeah, but I don't, I'm not top there. Oh really? Who's no. top? Who's winning that? Normally it's a dock. Really? Yeah, Rishi. He's good. He knows his football. Yeah, he I think he puts a lot of time into it, a lot more than he lets on. <laughs> really? <laughs> Behind the scenes, just doing all the little data and just Yeah, like following things. all the news and stuff. So is the reason you're not allowed to put yourself in is because like, people might see if you're injured, you're taking players yeah, out and stuff I, after last because year. Because I think it happened last did, year. Yeah. People noticed that, hang on a minute, that player's taking him out of his team. <laughs> is he right not going to play? So I think it's just to kind of save any like accusations or stuff like that. All right, fair enough. Perfect. Good luck for the season. Good luck Cheers. for the SPL patch. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. See you soon. Cool.